Hello everybody, Curious Cordero here again, and this is part four, I believe, of my Dark Souls playthrough. Again, it's it's not going to be like a, a walkthrough or anything like that. I'm playing on New Game Plus, so essentially what I'm doing is I'm going through the game again and just kind of recording uh, what I play through, and as I go along, I will commentate over it. I just want to address something, though, that I discovered while I was editing the past few videos. Um, you might even hear it just now. I'm, I'm catching myself doing it. It's because this microphone is so sensitive that it catches my breathing uh, very heavily. And over the last couple months, I've been dealing with a sinus infection. <clears throat> so that can make breathing and, and talking and uh, my breaths in general a little weird and difficult. It makes it kind of hard to breathe. So I realized going through my uh, last few videos I made, my breathing after I would say a sentence or when I would start to say a sentence would sound like... <sighs> Like, like I was dying or something. And before I continue that, whenever you see those little twinkling titanite demons, I don't know what you want to call them, but these little titanite guys, kill them as fast as possible because they will give you twinkling titanite. So if you're not fast, they will run away and you won't be able to kill them and get the titanite. But anyway, um, in the past videos, I sounded pretty much like um, a fat lady walking up a couple flight of stairs. So <laughs> it was, I tried to edit around it and edit out the breathing. Some of it I think worked, some of it didn't, but essentially it just kind of sounded like like I was drowning or something, so I will try to fix that. Maybe I will just sit farther away from the microphone as I am now. But in this video, it's part four, it's basically just me journeying, 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 I can't, journey, I can't say the word, traveling to fight the uh, the big Hydra. And as you can see, we're in the Dark Root Basin. So one of the strategies that I like to use here, um, you can fight these guys one-on-one -on -one if you like. Uh, they're not too terribly difficult uh, but what I like to do is try and get close enough to the Hydra because it will do a water blast attack and that water blast attack will actually um, hurt the enemies as well so that's a really easy way to get them one-shotted as you see right there one of the guys got hit with the uh, and again right there uh, one shot from the Hydra will kill these guys in one hit which is really cool but Unfortunately, the first time I tried doing this, I died. You can tell by my humanity, it's not lit up anymore. So I came to the area, got killed, had to recover my uh, blood stain, and now I'm making my way to fight the Hydra again. Um, you gotta watch out for those blasts on your way to the Hydra. Once you get to the Hydra, those blasts uh, will not occur unless you go too far back. Other than that, this boss fight is not difficult at all. It's just a little bit annoying. Um, primarily because, and you will actually see it in this video, I actually had to edit the video down because it took a lot longer than I would have liked, but as you can see right there, there's a cliff. You don't want to go too far out to try and reach the Hydra. I think some people might make that mistake at first. They probably think, oh, I'll just run out to the water and start fighting the Hydra, and then you end up dying, but the basic premise is that you want to slice off all these heads, but what becomes tedious is that eventually when there's maybe one possibly two heads left and you will see it in this video is that the Hydra AI uh, will troll you <laughs> essentially is how I like to look at it and it will start attacking farther and farther away from you making it very very difficult to run and reach the Hydra head in order to actually cut it off um, so other than that this boss fight is pretty simple you can cut off most of the heads fairly quick but once it gets down to those last one or two heads uh, the AI likes to clip into the wall. It'll eventually clip into the mountains where you can't even hit it. And it will just go farther and farther left in this video. Uh, the last head that's remaining just goes farther and farther left. So it makes it very difficult for me to catch up to the head and hit it. Um, but eventually the technique I use is that I start to run before the Hydra attacks. So as I run ahead of the Hydra, I'm able to eventually catch up with the last head and slice it off. So that's pretty much this video uh, it's just me fighting this Hydra um, as you can see I think there's one head left there's two left there we go so I, I fail there I managed to get in one attack right there on the second head and it will see if you get too far back it's gonna do the water blast but thankfully the mountain was there to uh, catch most of the attack so they're gonna dive out the heads gonna be all the way into the rocks which means I can't hit it and uh, there are I believe there's either one more Hydra, there might be two more, I can't remember. Uh, but there is another Hydra that's basically the same as this one, and it's going to do the same technique. It's going to attack farther and farther into the environment to where you can't hit it, 
and it's going to make it very, very difficult. If you guys know any way around this, I would be uh, grateful if you guys told me. Maybe there's something I'm not doing right. Uh, I don't know. But I cut off the second to last head there. I had to shorten the video right here. But as you can see, I start to run ahead of the actual Hydra attack so that way I can get there in time to BAM! Slice him in the face and one more slice will do it and cut off the head. So that was this video, that was the Hydra. Um, the next video you guys will see is me going back to the Undead Asylum and I will be fighting the Stray Demon, which is basically a very, very powerful version of the Asylum Demon that you run into and at the beginning of the game. So I'm Curious Corduroy and stay tuned for the next part. Used to, but essentially what you want to do here in the Moonlight Butterfly boss fight is try to avoid these attacks as best you can. I don't do that good of a job uh, in the first half of this battle. I get hit quite a bit 